Okay, so palpate the joint line. We're gonna go 10 centimeters below so that we capture the girth of the calf. So what other reasons why might we want to measure girth of the calf aside from DVT or swelling? Atrophy. Atrophy, yeah. So 10 centimeters below is gonna help us cap capture atrophy distal if there's an injury. We're gonna go 10 centimeters proximal to the joint line as well so that we're capturing the superior joint capsule or, or what we call the super patellar pouch, which is where the joint capsule and the tendon of the quadriceps lives. Um, there's a lot of room for swelling to live in the super patellar pouch. So measuring the joint line and measuring 10 centimeters proximal allows us to capture a better picture of any type of edema or effusion at the joint. Then we're gonna go 20 centimeters proximal to the joint line to capture what do you think? Atrophy. Yeah, true girth of the quadriceps. Questions on that? It's gonna be a similar setup to the multiple points that we did in the distal leg. So you're gonna set your tape measure behind the leg. You're gonna have your little sticky note that has like a right and a left and has like the different measurement points labeled. And then you're gonna measure again in centimeters, okay? So 10 centimeters distal, 36. Joint line, 33 and a half, 36, 33 and a half, 10 centimeters proximal, Forty, and then twenty centimeters proximal. Do do do. Forty-eight. 